Hey traders, TG Watkins here. It's May 13th when I'm recording this. Hope you all are doing fine. And remember, simplertrading.com slash moxie is where you can find me and more information about the moxie indicator. All right, so let's kind of go over here and take a look at some of the events this week. I think this will explain kind of why the market is doing what it's doing today and what might be happening later this week. So today, not much going on. There was uh, consumer in inflation expectations there. You know, it's, um, but I think what we're really going to be looking at is the on uh, tomorrow we have PPI, and then we also have on well we also have uh, Fed Chair Powell speaking tomorrow. So we'll see if the market kind of does something about that. That's going to be in the morning. So there's going to be a lot of data coming out early in the day. We'll see how that works out, and then after that we have CPI coming out. So we have that uh, on Wednesday. So do and check that out. Um, I don't have anything to say about which way it's going to go. I think that's what everybody's kind of looking at. Like, okay, is it going to be hot? And what are the Fed's going to do about that? Or is, you know, was last month uh, just a blip and this is going to be coming back down? So um, I, uh, I think all eyes are going to be on those kind of things. So let's keep an eye out. As for the market itself, yes, this has been a pretty good run as far as the index. But um, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about it up here. I was looking for the market to pull back right around this area it did for a day. And uh, we got that one perfectly, but then the market continued to push up. But you know, again, this might be getting a little bit long in the tooth without some sort of refresh. And so uh, I noticed that this morning, nice little double top. So we'll have to see how that works out for the rest of the week. Uh, the Moxie indicator has been trending down here on the 15 minute time frame, And um, you know, we are also right here at an overall double top. So. Can the market just keep pushing up from here? Eh, I'm not so sure. I, I think we're going to need some sort of uh, probably dip to test support something to that extent and uh, see where we go from there. Um, we're going to eventually find out if this pullback is into more weakness or if this pullback is into strength and we keep going higher. So I think um, probably this week is going to be a very important and telling week. Uh, other names that we are seeing, like AMD still kind of you know, just kind of languishing around like this, not much going on. And then Tesla still kind of doing its thing and just kind of hanging out. It might be finding some support in here. It could be, but I think I'm going to still give it another day to really figure it out. And then uh, I think it was a Roaring Kitty. I believe that is his name. Uh, he's back. So after what, three years of um, staying silent and being low key and basically having to listen to the SEC saying, look, you, you need to not do anything for a while. Uh, he came back. He was the guy who basically got the the short squeeze on GameStop started. So uh, probably check out Wall Street Bets, check out uh, Roaring Kitty, and go check out GameStop. And then there's some sympathy moves, the AMC, kind of up a little bit. And then I got to hand it to our own team. We've got um, Taylor and Sam that did LMND, and this thing popped off today. So uh, way to go to find a needle in a haystack on something like that. And uh, I think it all kind of worked out well <clears throat> because of uh, the, uh, as, as Chris Brecher said, the hello kitty. But, uh, you know, the guy with the GameStop thing coming back and um, doing that roaring kitty. So we have that. And then in our own benefit, Reddit has been doing very well. Happy with that one. And um, let's see what else we got kind of going on out there. Uh, CELH, this is another one that has been perking up as well. So it's been climbing the charts a little bit. So overall, we're doing well. Um, I'm still just kind of keeping one eye out for the market pulling back uh, probably this week. And we'll see if that is a good thing or a bad thing. And then, um, yeah, maybe those meme stocks are back. We were seeing the small caps really kind of taking off. But, you know, if we look at that, the IWM, yeah, started out strong this morning and then kind of pulled back. So I think this too, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing the IWM dip below the hourly 50 at some point. So that could be, again, this week. Uh, all eyes on the dip for the week. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, thanks again. And remember, come over to simplertrading.com slash moxie. See you there. Hey, TG here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my market analysis. Or you can join my free newsletter with the link in the description. Good trading, and I'll see you at the next video.